Wayne Sutton here, life coach, lifestyle, prosperwithwayne.com. Claude Diamond with us today. And for, before he, yeah, there he is. Before he starts, I've got to give you an introduction. Okay. I found out about Claude. I mean, there's two types. I believe, Claude, I believe there's two types of salespeople in the world. Those who have the skills, the attitude, and everything to make it, and those who don't yet. And I like that word yet. And when I saw you, I'm like, this guy's different. So I started following you, went through your book, went through some of your, I went through a lot of your videos. And uh, one thing that really got me, Claude, is uh, before we get going here, is you said, hey, pick up the phone and call me. I'm a real person. So I did. And um, what did happened? Phone calls. I got you. You called me back. Great conversation. And um, so that's what I love. It's just a difference, a different mentality. Uh, I, you can still be, I'm realizing you can still be a guru and without being, uh, without being a guru, you know, you, you, you mean without guru, being a, without being a jerk, we're not being a jerk. We're not being jerks. So if you've got <laughs> fan boys that are watching you here, you know, that's good. But, um, Claude, tell me, um, first of all, I want to jump in and just say thanks for jumping on here. All of my coaches, students, and everyone watching this, uh, we believe in personal mentorship. We believe in training. That's why we've got you on here. And, um, tell me, you've got something called the first time I heard about you said, give good phone. And then I heard about this guts, this guts training system. And there's so many systems. What? How'd you get started? What's guts? What is guts? Let's begin there. Guts is a sales system that it's a blend. It's a hybrid of modern human behavior, psychology, and good okay. acting ability, being a thespian. And we put them together. And, and, and when I say acting, that's only to make people comfortable so that we can have what we call adult to adult conversations. GUT stands for great, untraditional, unorthodox techniques of sales and success. Very long mnemonic, isn't it? Yeah, I like GUT. <laughs> I can remember Here's, that. I've been mentoring people for over 30 years. And uh, I discovered, I, I, I needed to share with them the same thing I discovered. I sucked, okay. at, I sucked at sales. I, man, <laughs> I'll tell you what, Wayne, I couldn't give away $20 bills on the street corner. <laughs> and I met and I was very and I went to college business school. I got a doctorate in law, all these places. I went to every seminar. I've read every success book and real estate book out there. Nobody spoke to me on how to persuade another human being, how to be a great communicator, how to get in front of people and just get them to relax and talk to you until I met this. My mentor, you and I are both mentors. And uh, my mentor was the best salesman I ever met. And he just took the head off my shoulders, shook out all the, the junk, and then put it back on. And he taught me how to speak to people so they don't see me as some guy who's trying to manipulate them or steal from them. Or uh, they, he, wanted, he taught me how to get to people as a doctor, as someone who could heal them, remove the pain, help them enjoy life more. That's really good. You know, because here's, here's what I see in the world today. Uh, I, I remember... Zig Ziglar, Brian Tracy, all of the sales. It, great information. I Zig, Ziglar. Zig, I read a hundred times, no exaggeration, one book, at least a hundred times. But then came a lot of the modern, I'm not going to call out names, I've learned from them, but there's a lot of stuff out there today that's very, um, it is manipulative or it's just, it's so motivating, but no skills. You know, there's no motivating because, because a good friend of mine, uh, Big Al, uh, Tom Big Al Schrader from the network marketing industry said, hey, Wayne, if you want to swim the English Channel and you're 80% there with the mindset and motivation, great. But if you don't have the skills of the last 20%, you drown. You've got to have both. And that's why when I watched you, I followed you, I'm, I'm a, you know, as a coach, I'm one that looks at people and try to read between the lines and uh, <laughs> I see the motivator within you, but I also see skills and techniques. And um, yeah, so what do you think is the important? What's the most important? If you had to say what's most important, skills and techniques, or would it be your mindset, or you consider both value? Sales is the million dollar skill, and nobody teaches it. That's why I focus on it intently. I have met people over the years who have spent literally hundreds of thousands of dollars on gurus, on seminars, yeah. on motivational, walking on hot coals, all kinds <laughs> of things, okay? And their knowledge of the particular product or service, I work with a lot of real estate people, is tremendous. It's great. But all the marketing, all the 
all the stuff they say, the auto dialers, the mailers, the seminars, all that stuff. It doesn't matter if you can't pick up this little remote controlled device to the universe That's and right. speak to another person. And what do you want that person? What's the, your percept? What do you want the perception of, of that person? What do you want them to think about you? Yeah. yeah. You know, are you a, are you a guy? Well, you know, my first question to most people is, Hey, um, Wayne, why are we talking today? Wayne, what do we hope to accomplish? Wayne, what is the biggest challenge in your life? I'm the doctor in the room, the adult. You're going for the pain point. Pain the pain. or anticipation of joy, pleasure. I go for the agony of the ecstasy. Now, unless someone calls me up because they're real lonely or something like that, I'm <laughs> on the phone. Uh, there's a reason I give every one of my students a three minute timer. Okay, and what's that reason? I'm sorry? And, and the reason for the timer, it's really cool looking? Yeah, it's cool looking, A. But no, but it is cool. Um, and I buy these by the gross, 144 to shot. And I give them to all my students because this is your life. These little, the sands of your, the time of your life. Um, in three minutes, I want to know, is this person a prospect or am I just wasting my God-given life? You know what makes the difference between a, a, a millionaire and everybody else? What, how do you make a person a one percenter? The millionaire, I learned this from Max, my mentor. He said, millionaires know they're going to die someday. Wow, it's good. Good. They don't want to waste a minute of their God-given life. This wonderful gift that we have. They don't want to waste money or time or anything unless it's productive to the enjoyment of their life with their family. If that's selfish, so be it. That's awesome. How'd you? Now you said you keep bringing up Max, your mentor. How'd you get involved in sales? How'd you? How'd you meet Max? Um, uh, meet your mentor. Uh, good question. Um, I was in real estate. I still okay. am. Um, and someone told me about this guy who was controlling properties with options and lease options, and he was a phenomenal salesperson. So I called up his office. I couldn't get through his secretary, who I called Brunhilde. She was tough. He was the, <laughs> the original guardian at the gate. Yeah. Okay. I kept calling. I wrote. I wrote letters. In those days, we used the post office. It was before internet. <laughs> and. Um, and I, I heard about him. Right, I wanted to meet this guy. Really, I never met a millionaire before. Okay, I wanted to see what's different. So couldn't get through. The, I even went to the office. She kicked me out. Uh, <laughs> so I found out one thing about millionaires. They, they believe in hustle. And they're usually the first person there and the last to leave every day at the office. Right. So I, got, I went there to the parking lot. I knew what he looked like. And it was dark. It was early in the morning. And I said, oh, Mr. Max. And scared them. Scared the ass out of him. Okay. And he said, Who are you? You know, I, I just wanted to meet you. I wanted to ask you a few questions there. Are you the guy who's been bogging my uh my secretary Brunhilde? I said, Yeah. He said, Go down the street, get me a bagel and a cup of coffee. I'll give you 15 minutes. Wow. I and I was in and I sold myself to this guy. It's a great story. And I ended up, I was like an intern, an intern with a, a law degree and a and a business and a business degree and all, and I had a corporate job and everything. This guy was this guy was the winning lottery ticket of my life. And so you were an attorney, but you were check, You were still. It sounds like you were. An, you were an attorney, correct? No, I'm not a practicing. I'm what you call a recovering attorney. Recovering uh, attorney. I have the degree. <laughs> it's on the wall back there somewhere. It, you know, it took me years to get. The, the thing about it was, I was struggling. I had a corporate job. I had all these degrees and everything, and I still was broke. I still wasn't making any money. Yeah. And this guy was already. And I said, what is the secret sauce? And I heard him on the phone, you know, while I was doing gopher stuff for him every day after my regular job, I'd go there. And I was and I heard him on the phone and he closed somebody on the phone in one phone call, the first phone call. And he made more money than I made in my job in like one year on wow. this one deal. And I said, what is he doing differently? And he was what you call a natural salesman. He was the, he had the ability to get people to like him, to trust him. He got to the facts real fast. He didn't give presentation. He didn't beg for the order. He didn't use scripts. Scripts are caca. Scripts are garbage. He knew, he just, he was somewhere between a therapist and a thespian, you know? And I yeah. said, this is what I got to learn and study. What he's doing, the words he's using, you know? He was doing NLP before there was NLP. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and, and so that's really good because I, I'm glad you cleared that up because a lot of people, they'll study NLP or they'll study this person 
and they try to replicate it. And I understand mentorship, but real mentorship is getting to know why they do what they do, really getting to know the person, Get, not just they use this language pattern or they, they use the pattern interrupt and, and, and embedded command or something. They, you know, people get all excited about that. I have in the past. And, and I realized we were going to know how to communicate with people naturally. And, he, made uh, me a, he made me into a millionaire by teaching me how to communicate with people, uh, to understand what makes them tick. Why do, you know, it's the million dollar rule. People make immediate business decisions emotionally. They just ratify, justify them intellectually later on. He showed me how to, how to do. I just took a run. I run every morning and I, get, I take phone calls with my little Bluetooth while I'm running. I made a couple thousand dollars this morning while I was running, talking to somebody. You know how much, and my word of honor, that, you know how much fun it is to have that freedom I, to know that you could lose everything, Wayne. You could lose it all. You take it all. But if I have this up here, this knowledge and this confidence level, and I know what words to use at the right time and get me back to this little wonderful portable computer device. I, you know, I had, I had somebody tell me one time, said, if you got a mind and you got a mouth, you got money. You'll never run out of money. I'm, not, I'm free the rest of my life. And that's what I tell my coaches. I've coached and um, me and my wife have been shopping in the mall and I'm looking like, hey, I got a coaching call. And I run to the car and I'm sitting out in the car with the air conditioner on. I've been at the beach and coached, been at the pool and coached. So coaching, that's why I tell people it's a lifestyle sales. And here's the thing about coaching for those coaches watching this and and it, wanting to know more about Claw, you've got to learn how to persuade your your client to do the right thing. If you give them an insight, you give them instruction, and they don't do anything with it, they've wasted money on you as a coach. So you've got to learn how to persuade. Persuasion is everything. Uh, not only getting clients as a coach, but also coaching the client through from A to Z. Getting and, clients is easy, by the way. You know, I don't spend any money on marketing. Well, then that would be the probably if, if sales is the million dollar question, the two the, the two million dollar question is how do you do it without marketing? Well, you know, it's funny. Once again, guts is the maybe I'm the irreverent contrarian out there. I don't give presentations. I don't beg for the order. I don't use scripts. I just talk to people. How do I get people to come to me? OK, most of the gurus out there, once again, they don't teach sales. They don't teach marketing. And the marketing they're using is old school. They're still using the post office. But if you talk to anybody under the age of 35, they don't even know how what a post office is. So a lot of people are buying mail lists and using the post office. I don't do that. It's low ROI. OK, yeah. low return on investment. Totally great. Then there's a lot of folks talking about email blasts. That's kind of old school already. Um, yeah. Email um, buying email lists. The trouble is you have to opt. What you want is a quality email list. I have an email list, but I only send emails to people who want to hear from me. So you got to develop an opt-in list. Now texting is very big. Everybody's doing texting, same old tired thing, buying uh, phone lists from other people and then texting them and um, low cost, uh, low ROI also. Uh, so my, my whole theory is to give so much... I, I reverse engineer everything. I think someone who wants to buy a uh, wants to move or buy a house or find a mentor. What are they going to What are they going to do, Wayne? They're going to go to Google, right, or Yahoo, or or what's the other one? Bing. I know what, yeah, the yeah. one nobody uses. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And they're going to go in there and they're going to type some search words and they're going to look for. Usually, when I want to research something, I want videos. I we're a video centric society. True, uh, very we're, true. Also, we're going. Uh, Gary V says now that we're making a big change to an audio. Uh, centric society. We don't even have the time to watch the videos, the informative videos and things. I put out content, free, informative, sometimes humorous, constant cont uh, content out on YouTube, Facebook. I do live periscopes. I offer things for free to people all the time because I am a secret. And that's the whole premise. Give out great information. Don't hold it back. Don't make it commercial. Don't make it schlocky and you know, all motivation and no inspiration or perspiration is what I hear from most other people. Yeah. My videos are two to three minutes long. I teach people how to do my kind of real estate, my kind of sales, and they get curious. They, and I, hopefully I get some credibility. They go to my Facebook or social media page. They then go to my web page. Then they get more free things or they get a free consultation with me. And that's how I that is my little click funnel, if yeah, you will. Yeah, and then for those, and for my coaches watching this, students, that's what I've said so many times. Give content, get them on the phone. Conversations lead. 
you know, to conversions. Conversations lead to sales. You can't have a I do it every day. Today, I have eight new. Today is a crazy busy day. Yesterday was my birthday, so I took the whole day off. I ran 33 miles. I, I, you know, I don't believe in taking vacations. I live them. I live in the Winter Park uh, ski area here, 10,000 feet up. I live in San Diego. We have a place in Hawaii. We have a place in Pinehurst, North Carolina. We, um, I just work here doing sales and I give people unbelievable value and that, and they migrate. They, I virtually attract them to my world. Today, I have eight new people to speak with on real estate. Uh, and on also my coaching and sales training program, my mentoring program. Yeah. I'm going to make money today because I know how to give good phone. I understand how people think and they want value. They don't want another schlocky commercial <laughs> or be yeah. locked into a Holiday Inn with bad coffee and stale donuts. Yeah, you know, Claude, I've heard you and other people say it so many times, three to five conversations a day. If you can have three to five real conversations, five conversations a day, you're right, that and ask what's important, get their criteria and give them back what they're looking for. Really, you know, as you said, solve a problem or give them joy. It's the heaven or hell. It's, you know, some people exactly. want to get hell, some people want to get to heaven. You, you, you accomplish either way, but which one do you want? And the uh, biggest, the biggest reason people fail today. I see it every, every day, Wayne, they're scared to pick up this device, this wonderful device and talk to people. How do you overcome that? How do you, if you, I, now I, I've overcome it. I love get it. A little, I get some it. guts. You see, there's a double entendre there. Get some guts. Get <laughs> some self confidence What's the worst that can happen? Oh, somebody says no. Somebody rejects you. They don't like you. Who cares? You go to the next call. You talk to the next person. We got to, we have to train people. Uh, what I do with my students is we practice self-confidence we practice a system learning how to ask questions you go and you know my analogy about a doctor the doctor doesn't say hey we're having a good to see you wayne we're having a special on back surgery today get on the table buddy do you have the coupon the price goes up on friday your doctor doesn't do that you wouldn't go to a doctor who does that of course not of course not right so why do we sound like that in business and that's why we get so much rejection and when we get rejection we don't want to talk to anybody mm. That's good. That's good. We're all sensitive. We're all insecure. I cry at Disney movies. Okay. I don't want to, I don't like rejection any more than anybody else, but now I know how to handle it because I have a system. I have the sales skills and I have the inner confidence. They don't get to make a judgment on me. I just say, okay, this is not the right person for me. This is a person who doesn't have the money, doesn't see the need, doesn't see the value on what I offer. I'm firing them. Okay. I fire them. And that's a good point because when you control the conversation, you control it. Uh, coaches, again, you know, you have to be in control of the conversation. You can't lead someone if they're leading you. Uh, and if you're going to lead them through a process of getting as a client, then you can lead them through the client process. Question for you, to Claude. But people say, I don't have the money. I don't have the money. Uh, do you, I mean, sometimes it's a reality. I think most times it's fear. Go ahead. Role play. Well, uh, uh, Claude, I, I love your program. It sounds great. But, oh, man, I've got to talk to my mama, my priest, I'm a parole officer, and I really just don't know if i got the money. I mean, that's a lot of money, $15 for a book. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, I, I normally don't spend that at McDonald's. Um, so I really don't know if I could just, – just, I just don't know. I thank you for your time, Claude, but I really just don't really have the money for it. Do you want me to tell you the truth or lie to you, Wayne, before I get off the phone? <laughs> I, 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 yeah, tell me the truth sure okay off the role play you saw i fired you i That's get off the phone and i Absolutely. always end and i always end in a question there's this, a lot of when you're you're in, the person asking the question is always incredible wayne you have the truth it i can tell you a fairy tale and make you feel good wayne or i can tell you the truth you called me you told me about the problems in your life the bills you have you worry every night about the mortgage your kids can't go to private school your wife's car doesn't run there's a lot of stress in your world because you can't even tithe to your church and do the things that are important in your life and you came to me and you can't and you have to and you can't raise fifteen dollars to buy a book. <laughs> That's good. That's good. And now I agree with you. Yeah, go ahead. Find a way. So, let me ask you this, Wayne. I know money's tight. I've been broke in my life, and I know money's a straight. But you, let me ask you this: if the if the money wasn't a consequence of this purchase, would you still want my book? If it was free, would you want to read this book? Absolutely, absolutely. So all we have to do is fix the money question. Let me ask you this: I'll make you an offer once. 
I never will make it again. It's like the Godfather clothes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make you an offer. Okay. Suppose I was what well, you need this book. Will we both agree on that. Yeah, I, I definitely need this book. Suppose I was willing to finance this book and make it into three payments of so $5 today, $5 next month, and $5 the next month. If I was crazy enough to make you that offer today so you could get this book, so you could change your life, so you could make your family healthy financially and take care of your responsibilities. If I was willing to do that, what would you say to me next? Let's go. Let's do what? it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Doesn't matter if it's a $15 book or a $25 million house. The and, same. And, and Claude, you, you'll probably relate to this. I've been on many calls and they go, wow, that's expensive. Oh, wow. I didn't know it would cost that much. And I think the biggest problem you can do in sales in this and that is just automatically start countering, building more value. Sometimes they're just talking. Sometimes they're just going, oh my God, I can't believe this phone cost a thousand dollars. Let's buy it. <laughs> I think sometimes when they give you, I can't believe it costs that much. They're just expressing their own internal thoughts. They didn't Very say expensive. No. You're right, Wayne. They didn't say no yet. They didn't say no. Well, maybe you should. Wayne, why don't we, you know, if money's a challenge for you right now and you can't, I mean, you came to me with these problems. I believe you see the value, but if you can't afford it, I think it's over. What do you think? That's a great, that's a great, that's a great response. And, and I, I want to hear this. Well, I mean, what do we, I mean, you know, what's the point of going on any further, Wayne? Your life is the way it is. It'll never change. You're just uh, the definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over and again and expecting a different consequence. You're, you're, you're just going to accept mediocrity as a way of life. And I understand and, that. And Claude, I love that. Here's one thing. <laughs> you hear I, yeah, what I just said? Yeah, I, I, here's what I love about that, Claude. One of the things you said, and, I, and I'm, uh, here's an offer I'm making, you won't hear it again. Uh, years ago, there was, a, there was a course I really wanted. It was a really cool copywriting course expires at midnight and I'm like yeah sure whatever I know uh, I'm sleepy I'll order it tomorrow morning next morning got up sorry it's over I emailed the guy I'm sorry you missed it I said no 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 I understand but, but I really want this course I'm sorry you missed it well we put it on a waiting list so we release it every January I said you can't I gotta wait a year he sells 200 copies at this amount he makes he knows what he's making he makes two hundred fifty thousand dollars he's happy for the year in that part of his business. He said, you're on the waiting list. I want you to know, Claude, I hounded that guy and emailed that guy and Facebooked that guy until he finally come by and he said, I got one left. But it was, I mean, if I hadn't hounded him, it was over. And um, then That's we had- scarcity. Yeah, it was, and it worked as long as it's true scarcity. And that's where a lot of people, um, hey, you'll never hear this again in the next email they got it. You've got to be able to stand. You've got to have the guts, if I may, to stand your ground. This is what it is. You know, this is a one-time offer. Now, if you call me back tomorrow, it's going to be this. And that's not because of I'm, I'm running out of real estate or I'm running out of coaching, but I do have a business to run here. And I've only got so many people I can work with today. So you've got to work that into your pit. Why would that be your only offer today? I tell people, hey, we're on the call. That means this costs me. This time costs me. If we're going to, if I'm willing to admit you're willing to take my time, let me make you an offer today. Yeah. And so I love that, Claude. It's a great yeah. idea. It's called Dr. Cialdini and his uh, Psychology of Persuasion book. Um, call that scarcity. Some the old school guys used to call it a takeaway method. Yeah. Um, okay. There's many different other what we call psychological triggers. What makes people say, I, I have only one goal, to stop being a secret. When I get on the phone with people, I want them to say when we get off, I like Claude. I trust him. He's crazy, but he's different. I believe he's honest. I think he can help me solve my problem or improve my life. He can remove a pain or he can make my life better. Or um, He can give me the freedom I want. That's what I'm going for. You don't get that by giving presentation, premature presentations up front or begging or making yourself subservient or reading a boilerplate script that some guru wrote in 1953. <laughs> you yeah. just don't do that. You get, you make a lot of money. Okay. Sales is the million dollar skill. If you learn how to speak to people, how to ask questions with what we call redirection positive and negative redirection, how to get them emotionally involved, how to turn. And this is the key. This is what my, Max, my mentor, taught me. He said, Claude, our only job is to turn the prospect into the salesperson. So they sell their self. This is the shit nobody ever taught me. So they're selling their self on your product instead of, you know, yeah. a mentor. I, I go all the time. Well, gee, gee um, 
Wayne, why are we talking today? Uh, and you say, I, well, I, I wanted to find out about selling my home. I'll call a realtor, Wayne, why are you calling me? You know, you know, I'll turn it around. I'll make you do all the work. You will be talking more than me in a true guts dialogue. Yeah. Because I'm the doctor. I get to ask the questions of the patient on the couch or while I'm examining them. You, you don't need me to tell you things that, that are not important or pertinent. I need you to tell me qualify yourself, give me information, give me time value, give me motivation, give me uh, character, and give, and give me authority, uh, give me, are you the authority figure? I need to get these things, and then I have the ammunition to give a guts presentation and yeah. close you in just a few. I close people, just like my mentor did, in one phone call, sometimes two, never three. Well, Claude, one of the things I really love about this, your course, your program, your book, I've been reading your book, is the ability to position. It is about positioning. It really is about positioning yourself so they can not just say you're the expert and they come to you, but why they sell themselves. Uh, one, of, one of the things I tell people, why me, why now? If you're on the phone, guys, you're on the phone with someone or you're face to face, why me and why right now? Tad James, Tad James had a, he was a hypnotist out of Hawaii, had a five step selling process. This is 20 years ago. I forgot 99% of it, but I remember one thing he said. He said, when people come to you, they've already made a mental map. If they go to buy a Cadillac, Claude, I know you like Cadillacs. If they go to buy a Cadillac, they've already placed themselves behind the seat of that Cadillac. They can feel the leather. They can smell the leather. They've already made that mental map of buying this car. Then they come in and see you, salesman, and they're all freaking out. you got to get them back to that mental map. Why me? Why Cadillac? why right now and then they got to sell you on why and why me as a life coach why life coaching right right now relationship coaching we do i mean and, and so i'll ask you why me well i saw you on youtube or somebody referred me or whatever and why right now because i want them to know this is a now decision and that's what i love about the gut system or whatever you know, I, I, I don't know if you knew this uh, not many i work with some of the luxury car um car manufacturers in this country oh i did okay. not know that. And you know what I do? You know what I teach those sales guys to do? Like Audi, for instance. Okay, I teach them not to sell. I teach them to say, hey, hey you know, let's role play real quick. I love role plays. It's my methodology. This is how I teach, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I do groups and stuff with my students. Wayne, you're driving that beautiful 1986 Hyundai out there. Man, <laughs> let's go run another 100,000 miles. What, what are you doing here in uh, ABC Audi? Uh, I, I, I like that. I want, I want to... On the R8 Spider, or at least an A4. Oh, you know what? But you got that that Hyundai, man. That you'll get another that car. How many miles you got on that thing? Uh, two hundred and forty-seven thousand. Go for three forty-seven. Why? Oh, uh, people are laughing. My neighbors are laughing at me. They're embarrassed. They're throwing. Uh, what are you going to do? Door. So what? You know, yeah. like, it's not affecting. What do you do for a living if you don't There's mind? No AM stations left. It's only got an AM radio in it. It's just, it's not really good. Well, what business are you in? Are you in? Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a, um. I'm a, I'm a life coach. I meet with people and tell them how to be successful in life. And, okay. and so that's people, people see, they don't really look good when I pull up in a, in, in a Hyundai with you know, two oh, doors. You're, you know, you got a good point there. Do you think people make a judgment about you as your credibility as success as a coach when they see you in a 30 year old car? No, I, I know that. I mean, like, I, I judged you as a man of intelligence when I saw your haircut, Claude. I thought I, I need to be looked at the same way. So the two doors missing is easy for him to get out in and out of my car for coffee lunch. <laughs> But it doesn't really do good for my image. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you a question here. Um, you know, um, before um, before I uh, we uh, we have to go or anything like that. Um, you don't think you'd make more money driving a prestige a luxury car uh, if your clients saw you in a car like this? What do you think they'd say about you? Do you think you'd sign up more people for your coaching, mentoring, real estate I'm business? Sure. I'm, I'm sure I would. I'm sure. I'm sorry. What? I think I would. I think I would. But you think are you sure? Uh, I'm sure I would. They would see me as a success that I am instead of the used car. It's a very, you know, you said the A4, but I think you need to be in the A8. If I could make that work within your budget and you could see yourself increasing your income 20, 30, 40% in the next six months, that would be an investment you'd want to do, would it? If, yeah, if I could do that from buying a car, I mean, I, I guess so, yeah. You guess? Yeah, let's do it. Let's what? do it. Yeah, let's do it. Sign here. That's Boom. good. See, it's so easy. Good yeah. yeah, and for all That's of our Hyundai way. owners out there, they're not as bad as they look. So we forget. This is the way. <laughs>
This is the way I teach. We role play. We do real calls. We practice. And then we dissect it. Okay. Stroking, nurturing, empathy, operative word, empathy. What are they thinking? What are they feeling? What is their oxygen? Yeah. What do you, don't give a presentation. Oh, it goes zero. Did I say anything about that car? It goes zero to 80. It has leather seats. It has all this stuff in there. You know, did I say anything about the car? Did I just, all I did is try to not sell you. I went to negative. You went positive. You gave me the ammunition. I said it, it wouldn't be worth investing if you could make more money. And boom, you were closed. It, that, it's that, and really, that role play is so close to what I teach multimillionaires in sales. Yeah, yeah. And you got, and then those who coach with me, you know this, we talk about this all the time. You've got to get them imagining in the process. I could see That's myself. a million dollar word, by the way. Imagine. Imagine. We had to, I had to imagine myself into A4 to AA to, the RA. Uh, yeah, I, sw I switched you from a forty thousand dollar car to one hundred and twenty thousand. Well, I started one hundred and sixty RA and went down, so I gave you a little ammunition. But <laughs> you know, it really is about. And, and guys, that's also. I'm going to take this a second too for those who follow me. When you're doing the, you've got to have some kind of. You've got to have that image. Uh, this isn't an image of Brandon, but you've got to have that. You really do. And a lot of it comes with your voice. A lot of it comes with your confidence, that you're confident in what you can do. You have clarity in what you can do. Uh, I know I sell a lot of coaching because I'm very confident in my program. And um, without confidence, it's not congruent. And so you've got to have that too. Uh, I'm not an Audi guy, though. I'm not, I, I, do like, I do like Cadillacs. I'm a um, Cadillac guy, man. I I, I love cattle. Okay, I'm going to tell you a quick story. Okay. My, son, uh, my son just um, sent me an Instagram. You know, that's how we communicate now, texting and Instagram. And, and so, because I bought, a, I bought, a, I bought, a, um, I bought a car not too long ago. And he was like in love with it. He's like, oh my gosh, dad, let me drive this car. And I'm like, no. Um, so he sends me a picture of his Deville. He bought it. He bought it. He wanted the big one. He said, dad, I had to go back. A couple years. I got a big, big Deville. 24 year old, this big Deville. He's just, he's loving it. You know, he said, my next thing is a Cadillac tattoo. I'm like, well, that's pushing it, but whatever. So <laughs> it is about branding yourself. It's about being confident. Claude, you've shown us a lot of things here. You've got us thinking, you know, what really sets you apart. I know is your willing, willingness to get on the phone. Um, and Claude, for those on here said he's going to give his new book absolutely free for people mm -hmm. to contact Claude. Uh, once we have this live, I'll have it below the contact. But Claude, how do people get in touch with you? I know you're not scared to answer a phone call. So Your audience is so intelligent. I'm not going to do a commercial here right now. All they got to <laughs> do is Google Claude Diamond. There's only one of the Claude Diamond. He's a friend of mine. He's a country western singer uh, and everything. Just Google. We got a 50-50 shot of hearing a song or getting some good content. Uh, if, if one or the other, you don't lose. You won't lose. <laughs> but if you but if you go to Google Claude Diamond or go to ClaudeDiamond.com, I got a great, simple one-page web page. That's another interview for another time. I don't use a web busy web page with a million tabs and pop-ups and stuff. I think that's – I don't do that with my audience. So if they go to ClaudeDiamond.com, they just go there. They click on a button. They get a free book. They get a free consultation. They can pick my brain. They can role play. Everything, everything I give is free is my way of introducing myself to people and not being a secret. Well, you know, that's very, if the people, we used to have that web page with 30 tabs and dance and, you know, orangutans and, and, uh, <laughs> we, you know, if you go to prosper with Wayne or lifecoachlifestyle.com, they both go a one page simple. Let me get the information you need. Let's see if we can help. And it, and both of those direct right here. Yeah. So, um, so again, um, Claude, I appreciate it. Give us a golden nugget before you, you've given a lot of golden nuggets. Throw us a silver nugget. Throw us another nugget. Do the, I did one, and I did two very smart things in my life. I married uh, my best, I married my best friend, my, my, my girlfriend, who's my wife of 31 years. Behind every successful man is usually a smarter, more exhausted woman. <laughs> I agree with that. So that was a real smart thing. I also found a mentor. Find the right mentor, though. Find someone who is accountable to you, like Wayne myself, find somebody who'll talk to you, not hand yeah. you off to the virtual assistant in some strange third world country. You need yeah. accountability. You need somebody who is successful in their own right. And I mean someone who's making a lot of money and they're doing it honestly. Find yourself that mentor 
and you've shortened the learning curve. So instead of waiting 10, 20, 30 years chasing guru and seminar after seminar, find somebody who's already there and emulate them, copy them, learn from them. And that the secret of my success was I found a max. You know, I found somebody who was already there and I, all I had to do was learn from him and, awesome. and, and, and say, and focus. And one more tip, focus sales is the skill. It's it, you can focus on strategies. You can focus on products and services. You can focus on Marcus marketing, but when it comes down to it, can you convince another human being of your sincerity, your honesty, and the good value you give sales right. a million dollar skill. Yeah, and those my coaches here. I've said the same thing. You you can if you cannot sell sales is why I'm married to my wonderful wife. It really is. When I sat down with my wife, I thought really quick. Let me qualify her for me, <laughs> and, and and I will I'll share it for another story. I'll give another day. <laughs> I had certain questions I asked sitting at Rockola Cafe in Wilmington, and at the end of the conversation, she said to me, Max, I've never felt this comfortable with someone else in my life. I don't know what it is about you. And what it was is she talked. I got her to talk. People love their own voice. They love their own. They feel comfortable with their own voice. And I asked the criteria questions. And at the end of the day, I truly had to ask myself, am I going to be honorable in this and truly pursue her? Because, or do, is she don't match my qualities? Because I had the power in my hand. Of, of a person's emotions. And so I did the honorable thing, married the woman. We have great family, beautiful daughters, but it came back to, I don't think I would have had her claw without skills. It does take skills. Yeah. Um, divine, divine soulmates, whatever you need skills in life. That's why we got Claude on here. Claude, <laughs> I appreciate it. ClaudeDiamond.com. Check it out. If you're watching this and haven't got my book yet, lifecoachlifestyle.com, prosperwithwayne.com. Uh, my number, 910, I learned this from Max. So I'll give it out on every video now. 910-233-2511, 910-233-2511. Call me, let's chat. Claude, thank you so much for being on here. I appreciate you, bro. Take care. Thanks.